This video answers the question, how can I learn piano quickly? Well, the most important thing is to have fun. So your brain will absorb the information massively more effectively, efficiently and much quicker if you are enjoying yourself. A bit like children learn through play really, really well and you don't notice time passing and so if you have to really, really work at piano and it feels like a chore, then I would suggest that is not a quick way to learn and it certainly isn't fun. So uh, the number one thing, make sure that you have fun. So that means choose the type of music that you love playing um, and choose the method of learning that you find fun. So three other really important uh, aspects then that I believe are the, the most important things that will impact your speed of learning once you've chosen the music that you like to learn and you're, uh, have chosen a method that you find fun is understanding the language of music and the easiest way to do that is not to spend years and years doing theory and reading notation and all that kind of stuff that I had to do as a child. It's it's to understand patterns. So Western music is made up out of incredibly simple patterns and especially popular music then just takes the same patterns that are inherently there in, in classical music but just really simplifies them uh, to an unbelievable level. And if you watch the Axis of Awesome um, video on four chords, it's a really funny, entertaining video uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the in the information here, but it just shows that like there is these dozens and dozens of the most famous songs you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> just use the same four chords in the same order. Uh, so these underlying patterns uh, can help you understand the language of music, so you become fluent at it. And you're not just following instructions on a page, you're totally understanding the language. And that lets you do things like then, you can memorize songs really easily, you can improvise and play around and make up your own versions of the same song. Um, and that's one of the key aspects to what I call piano freedom. So, um, so learning the patterns and becoming fluent in the language of music, uh, and that is a lot more simple than it might appear. The second thing then is the patterns of playing. So as well as patterns within music that let you understand it really easily, there are patterns of playing which are again mind-bogglingly simple. So I mean I, I only found this out after years and years and years and years of playing the, the classical way. Uh, I didn't realize that all these simple underlying patterns were there right from the start, just that nobody had ever pointed them out to me. And the um, traditional music notation doesn't show you these patterns in it, so uh, there are much easier ways to actually, to actually learn. But uh, just as an example of what I mean by playing patterns, when you're starting off, there is one hand shape which lets you play all the six standard chords that cover the vast majority of popular songs. So um, they are just one hand shape, lets you play one, two, three, four, five, six. And those six chords then let you play most songs, as crazy as that seems. Now you might say, yeah, but that sounds a little bit basic. Okay, but that's one chord pattern shape. The same three notes, the exact same three notes in each of those chords, if you just change your shape, there's more professional shapes and you just learn those other shapes, which again, is very simple to do. Uh, and then just practice making your fingers go the right place. And then basically you, you can play. So if I take three of those chords, just that one, that one, and that one. Okay, just those three chords. So that one, that one, that one. Um, the exact same notes you can play with, with other shapes. You can go, um, So 
that might look like there's a lot going on there. Um, and all we're doing is actually doubling up on the notes um, and just playing them in a different order. So playing patterns are the second key thing, especially with things like, as well, with rock and roll, it's just basically, it's all about a pattern. So each rock and roll song will have a, a pattern and you just apply that pattern onto a chord pattern. <laughs> so, uh, again, it looks like there's a lot going on, but it's incredibly simple. So the third thing then is to get the tuition style that fits your ultimate goal. And again, I've covered this in other videos, but, um, but basically you, you need to be clear in your own mind whether you are trying to play instrumental piano where you, you are playing the melody that somebody would sing um, or whether you want to play the accompaniment where you or somebody else sings, which is great for parties and things like that, uh, or whether you want to play classical music where there's an exact series of notes that you want to play. So that would be Ian Audi's style of music or Beethoven, those types of things. So the three very different styles of um, playing and to get the fastest result, you need the, the method that is designed for that particular method. If you just take the, the standard way of learning, which I did as a child, which was the classical route where I wanted to play pop, pop songs, but all the piano teachers said, well, you, you have to read notation, you have to do music exams, you have to play Chopin and things. And then maybe years later, you might get around to playing the songs that you want to play. Well, that is not gonna be the fastest route by a long way. In fact, having to read notation is great if you want to play classical music uh, above the moderate level, because there's, there's faster ways of playing classical music that's the more simple classical music, there's, there's faster ways. But if you want to play complicated classical music, then notation is the best way. That it was, that's what it was designed to do. <laughs> and it does that very well for complicated classical music. It's highly inefficient for playing popular music. So if you want a quick uh, results in popular music, there are much better ways. I've covered this in far more detail uh, in other videos. If you haven't seen those, uh, the quickest way to get those is go to the website deckplay.com, put your email in and join the email list and everybody on the email list gets those more detailed videos.